Okay, today we have uh, two Unibody MacBook Pro uh, logic boards that were sent to us from a computer store. And uh, this one has a NVIDIA chipset, uh, just the same as this one has an NVIDIA chipset. Um, but the deal is that these two have two separate problems. Both of them get no video, but as we're about to check, we'll find that... Uh, each has its own set of problems. Just because one or the two have no video doesn't mean that it's necessarily the chipset. So we're going to go through and uh, test each one to see what we can find and then go from there and see if uh, you know it pans out to show that we actually have a repair and what's been done. So with these MacBook boards, what we find is uh, just because they have no video doesn't mean that they uh, have a, a chipset problem. Not every time. So we notice that these boards have fuse links on them. And these fuse links are white and ceramic. So the first thing we're going to do is check these fuse links. So this fuse link here is for your DCN. It's what supplies power to the board. And then we also find that this fuse link goes to your uh, LCD cable. This runs your LED screen and your backlight. So this is what gives you picture. Uh, this fuse right here is a uh, USB and uh, mini DVI fuse. This is what powers uh, these components over here uh, through this chip. And then you have another fuse that's right here that controls your battery and your memory slots. So we're going to check these four fuses. Uh, we'll check this fuse and this fuse right here and then this fuse. And we're going to see if any of them are bad that would cause power to go out across the board. And then, of course, we'll check our uh, DCM fuse to make sure that we're getting correct voltage to the board. Of course, this isn't something that we can do with one hand, so uh, we're going to have to make do with what we find uh, off the camera. So after our testing, we found that uh, this fuse and this fuse work perfectly fine along with the DCN fuse, but that this fuse right here is uh, going into mega ohms. So we know that this fuse is bad uh, and that it has a short. So what we're going to do is replace this fuse and we're actually going to use our uh, hot tweezers to pull it off and uh, replace it out and we'll go from there. But before we do all that we're going to move to our next board and test it out and see what we find on it and then go from there. So what we've done is taken our hot air gun here and uh, removed that uh, fuse right there and it's right there so we've taken it off and what we're going to do is put a new one in and then go from there and see what that does to uh, fix the system. Uh, that'll be enough to repair it. So we've taken now and put a different kind of fuse on there, one that should be better and last longer. So we're going to call this board done and next we're going to move to the water damage board and see what we can do to fix it. So that will be our next board to work on. So we've taken and uh, cleaned this board and um, we cleaned it there where we needed to and um, over here we cleaned this up. So, we're going to uh, pretty much uh, say that the water damage and the cleanup is what's going to fix this one. So, we're going to call this one done too. Uh, since it does get power across the board um, and the fuses work perfectly fine. Um, but there was, no, uh, there was no video or anything on it. Uh, as a common courtesy, we're going to reflow both of these boards. 
uh, before we pack them up to send them out. But we're going to call these done. They're finished. So uh, clean up on one and the fuse change on the other and we'll call them done. That'll be it. So after uh, checking this board right here with the fuses, we've uh, decided to take a look at this board and found that uh, most expectedly it's water damage that is uh, centralized to this location and then water damage that is uh, centralized to this location and came across like this and came over here. So this appears to be water damage and this appears to be water damage over here so what we're going to do is uh, soak and try to clean that board and see where we can go with it and then go from there.